In this video, I'm going to show you how to design a poster in Word. And this is how our poster will look like after we have finished creating it. So, if you want to design your very own custom poster in Word, keep watching. Hello guys, this is Sonic here from Template Warriors. On this channel, we help you create and sell digital products online and also help small businesses grow using their right digital tools through online video just like this one. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. That said, let's jump into the video. In this poster design idea, we are going to model around a restaurant business. So to start designing our poster, we need to open a new Word document. Having open Word, the first thing I do is set up my page margins. To do that, I go over to Layout, Margins, then I click on Custom Margins. I'm going to set everything to 0 cm. So I make here 0, 0, 0, and then 0. Then I go ahead and click on OK. Next, I'm going to go ahead and insert a rectangular shape. I go over to Insert, Shapes. Then I choose rectangle and I'm going to go ahead and make sure it covers half of the page. I don't need the outline, so I go ahead and take it off. Use no outline, and I'm going to go ahead and fill it with a picture. So I go over to Shape Fill, Picture, I select from a file. I'll use this image, then I click on Insert. Awesome. Next, I draw another rectangular shape. So I go over to Insert, Shapes, Rectangle. I'll start somewhere here. no outline then i'm going to change the fill color to white i'm going to go ahead and edit the shape by giving it a curve at the top so i go over to edit shape then i click on edit points i go ahead and select here so that i'll be able to get this white node then i move it down i hold here and i take it up I'll insert another rectangular shape. So I go over to insert shapes and I choose rectangle and I'll start my drawing from here. I don't need the shape outline, so I take it off. And I'm going to go ahead and give it a curve at the top. So I go to edit shapes, edit points. First of all, I select here, then I'm going to go ahead and drag it down. Next, I select this point and I take it, I move it up a bit like this. Next, I change the fill color by going to shape fill. I go to gradient. And I choose more gradients. I select gradient fill. I'm going to go ahead and take off the middle gradient stops. So I select this one, then I click on delete. I select this as well. I delete. Next, I select one of the gradient stops. Then I go ahead and choose a color. I can choose any of these colors, but I want to use this one right here. Next, I select the second gradient stop. Then I go ahead and choose this color. Awesome. If you are finding value so far, please give this video a thumbs up. It does help me out so that the video will be suggested to more people on YouTube and also benefit more people. All right, let's continue. The next thing I'm going to do is insert a circle. So I go over to insert shapes circle. Then I go ahead and draw my circle here and I'll change the dimensions from here. I will make it 4.5 centimeters. 
that is for the height and the width i will make it 4.5 centimeters as well so that i will get a perfect circle awesome next i'm going to go ahead and increase the shape outline so i go over to shape outline weight then i choose more lines i'm going to go ahead and make it 6 pt like this then i'll change it to a gradient i don't need the middle gradient stuff so i take it off then the first gradient stop i choose a color for it and i'm going to go ahead and use this i select the second one then i go ahead and choose this the type is going to be linear and the direction i'm going to go ahead and choose linear left i'll reposition the shape I duplicate it by holding down Ctrl plus Shift, then I go ahead and move it down so that it will be in the same line. I select both shapes by holding down Ctrl key on the keyboard, then I select the second one, and I want to duplicate it, so I hold down Ctrl key on the keyboard, then I go ahead and duplicate it, and I want to move it this direction. Awesome. The next thing I'm going to do is fill the shapes with some images. So I select this first one, then I go over to Shape Format, Shape Fill, Picture. I select from a file. I choose this one right here. I click on Insert. I do the same thing to the second one. Shape Fill, Picture, from a file. I select this. I insert. Similarly, I do the same thing to the rest of the two circles. Perfect. Since I'm modeling around a restaurant poster, I'm going to go ahead and outline my dishes. To do that, I'm going to insert a text box. So I go over to insert text box, then I go ahead and click on draw text box. I draw it right here. Then I enter dishes. I change the font, so I highlight it, I go over to home. And I'll go ahead and choose area black. I'll increase the size. I'll make it 26. And I'll change the color to white. Meanwhile, I don't need the shape fill and shape outline. So I'll go over to shape format. Shape fill. No fill. Shape outline. No outline. Since I need the same style of text, I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this text box. So I select it. Then I press Ctrl plus D in order to duplicate. I move it down here a bit and I will change the size to 14. I'm going to go ahead and add a circular shape to represent a bullet. So I move the text here a bit. Next, I go ahead and draw a circular shape. Next, I change the dimensions to 0.4 cm for height and width. The shape fill, I make it white. Outline no outline with the shape selected i hold down ctrl key on the keyboard then i go ahead and select the text box i go over to group then i choose group and i'm going to go ahead and duplicate it to the number of times i want by holding down ctrl plus shift then i can click on it then i move it this much i duplicate for the second time and finally i duplicate it for the fourth time then I go ahead and change their respective dishes. Next, I insert a rectangular shape. I go to insert shapes. I choose rectangle. Then I'm going to go ahead and draw it right here at the bottom. The shape fill, I change it to black. Outline, I choose no outline. Next, I go over to insert text box, draw text box, then I go ahead and draw it right here. 
then I go ahead and enter in my text and I'm going to enter a phone number I'm going to change the font so I highlight it then I go over to home I drop down the arrow and the font then I choose area black I increase the size to 22 I center it then I make sure it fits very well Next, I go over to shape format, shape fill, I choose no fill, shape outline, no outline. You see that the text is now hidden. I go back to home, then I change the color to white. I will center the text box under shape format, align, align center. Then I can move it up a bit with my arrow key. Awesome. The final thing I want to do is add in a logo on top here with the name of the business. So I make sure the text box is deselected by clicking aside. Then I go over to insert pictures, this device. I have my picture right here. I go ahead and select it. Then I click on insert. You see that the picture is hidden because it is at the back of this very image. For me to be able to see it and also move it around, I go over to wrap text, then I choose in front of text. Now I can move it around. I can also go ahead and decrease the size to this much. Next, I add the name of the business using a text box. And now we are done. I can zoom out. So that's yet another design idea on how to design a poster in Word. For more poster design ideas, make sure you stick around to watch this video on your screen right now. Keep watching and I will see you inside that video.